of the challenges of the people who might still be food insufficient, who are currently in the military and who are veterans, is that they are rescuers at heart. They are protectors and not always um, willing to ask for help when they need it because they're just built to take care of others. Their primary job, I believe in their minds, is to take care of their soldiers and the people that they have the mission to protect and defend. It's very hard for them to ask for help for themselves. Programs like Hope for Heroes not only provide whatever resource they're intended to provide, whether it's food, shelter, um, assistance with employment, but they also tell current veterans and service members and the families that support them, I am taken care of and I am appreciated for the service that I've given my country, in some cases for decades. We have many local service members who are currently serving who've been in the military for 20 years, 30 years. And without the boost that community organizations give them, um, their, their idea about being appreciated and supported might not be quite the same. What's unique about Hope for Heroes program, they think really matters to the military families and the veterans, is that the process is very dignified um, because they are not folks who often will ask for help because they're built to help others. They are able to come in and in the same first visit, go home with healthy, variety of food, including the kinds of things that they may have never been able to shop for. And secondly, um, the hours that you guys are open gives them a wonderful time frame to come in and, and take care of um, their families by picking up the food themselves. Um, on their repeat visits, they're able to literally check in within a few minutes because a lot of these folks have many children one car for the family. So um, just I think the process itself is what's wonderful. A Vietnam veteran um, who had a um, co-worker understand um, his situation, I'll call it, um, contacted me at one time and said, that the veteran was living in a trailer that was literally falling down. He hadn't been out of his home for quite a while um, and he actually needed to get himself some medical care. But the first thing that that good friend and, and colleague was worried about was that that veteran had not been eating. He literally had, um, had not had any healthy food for a few weeks and that veteran has now access Community Harvest Food Bank's Hope for Heroes program. The Hope for Heroes program has become literally a godsend, a lifeline for so many local military members. We have a reputation, I think, for taking care of our service members, and I hope that always continues because I feel it, I know the service members around me feel it, and they've articulated that so many times. So without a program like Hope for Heroes, that would just be one less um, support system for them that sometimes they vitally need, sometimes changes their morale, gives them hope, lets them focus on their mission if they're currently in the military, which is very important because if the service member has to worry about his or her family at home not having basic needs taken care of, that service member can't focus on the mission, protecting our, com our country, our communities, Food is so essential and I know without Hope for Heroes program, a lot of these families would go without.